Hey everyone, King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team, here to make a video showing you how to update your Samsung Epic to the latest gingerbread leak, EG22. This is going to be later than the latest EFO2. Um, it's actually a lot later, it'll be a month and 20 days later than the EFO2 leak, so I'm expecting a lot, I haven't tried it yet, so this is my first go at it. Um, what you're going to need to do is go ahead and click on the link in the description. Actually, you're going to need to click on two links. First one, it's going to take you to this thread, uh, ROM stock DX update.zip for EG22. Big thanks to Decadence for doing this for us. Be sure to give him a thank you. Uh, what you're going to need to do is, actually on my phone, I'm running Syndicate Frozen ROM 1.2. It doesn't matter if you're running a ROM, all you need to make sure you have is the Clockwork Mod 3.1.0.1, the purple Clockwork Mod. If you haven't uh, updated to the purple Clockwork Mod, then just go ahead and if you want to flash it through Clockwork, just click on Download Clockwork Mod Flashable Clockwork Mod. Or if you want to use Odin, you can click on that one. Both of these will give you the purple clockwork mod so make sure you have purple clockwork mod if you don't you need to update that is uh, very important anyways um, go ahead and scroll down go ahead and click on download DX ROM here click on that it'll download the the zip file what you're going to need to do with that zip file is just put on your SD card click and drag it over to your SD card um, now what you're going to need to do is go ahead and click on the other link in the description. It'll take you to CNET. Uh, it's just going to download an MD5 checker for you just to double check and make sure it has the proper MD5 just to make sure that uh, nothing's going to go wrong and break your phone. Just click download now. It'll download a zip file so make sure you have WinRAR or 7-zip. Um, as you can see it's right there, md5.zip. Just double click on it. In my case it opens this up. Just double click on md5.exe and this is what it looks like. Um, you're just going to want to verify an md5 checksum. Uh, select a file, click browse and look for that Samsung Epic EG22 DODX update. That's what the zip's going to look like. It'll check the md5 of it and as you can see that's the md53875CE. What you can do now is just reference it with the one where you download it, 3875CE8AE. I've referenced it and both match up. So just make sure this MD5 here matches up with the MD5 the checksum comes up with. That's just to double check and make sure everything downloaded correctly, everything's right. Um, anyways, now that you have double checked that and everything is right, and uh, the DX ROM is on your SD card, all you have to do is power off your phone. I'm very excited for this. I'm, I'm hoping it's a very good leak. I was hoping it would be official gingerbread, but I guess this will have to do for now. Okay, now that my phone is off, you're going to need to boot into clockwork. As you guys know, volume down, camera button, power button, all at the same time. Once again, make sure you have the clockwork mod 3.1.0.1. As you can see, I have that clockwork. Um, what you're going to need to do is now just go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. Just a heads up, this is going to wipe all your data. Make sure you have everything backed up, such as contacts, apps, everything, anything you want backed up. Make sure you have it backed up. Go to Wipe Data Factory Reset. Hit Yes. Let it run through that. And just to be safe, I would like just do it three times. I do that just to be safe. And then just to be safe as well, I'm going to go ahead and wipe cache three times and Dalvik cache. So wipe cache partition. Yes, do that three times as well. And then I'm going to go to advanced, wipe Dalvik cache. Yes. I'm going to do that three times as well, just to be safe. Make sure everything's cleaned out. I'm going to go back and then hit install zip from SD card. 
choose zip from SD card and then I'm gonna navigate to wherever that um, the ROM zip is the Odex ROM zip so it's gonna be Samsung Epic EG22 DX update zip click on it and hit yes install it it's gonna update open the update package and it's gonna install the ROM for you might take a little while to install in case any of you are wondering um, our ACS guys at the moment are working on a ROM for this leak I know you guys have thought ACS doesn't really work on leaks but you guys have seen the bamboozle ROM which would be based off a leak um, we are currently working on a ROM for this so be ready for that. I'll be sure to keep you guys updated. Anyways, install zip from SD card is complete. All you're going to need to do then is hit go back and reboot system now. So let it reboot. I'm pretty excited. Let you guys watch the boot up. I would assume it would be similar to any of the other gingerbread leak boot ups. Yep, just same stock boot up as always. Just be patient with the first boot up, it's going to take a little while. Alright, now my phone has booted up. I am now running the latest gingerbread leak, the EG22 leak. Um, as you can see, it looks very similar to every single other EG22 leak, um, status bar is all the same, notification bar up at the top is the same, same icons, I haven't, I don't see any differences yet with it, oh, um, I don't recall seeing books there, so that might be a new app included, might have checked that one out, um, other than that, looks about the same. I would assume it all is just bug fixes, making it a lot faster. I'm sure this is fluid. I haven't noticed any lag or anything. I'm going to go to About Phone, show you guys. I'm on firmware version 2.3.4, which is the latest as of now. I believe tomorrow the Nexus S 4G is getting 2.3.5, which is just a WiMAX update pretty much for their phone. Um, that will be the latest then, but as of now, 2.3.4 is the latest. Um, as you can see, build number Gingerbread EG22 which I am on now, um, baseband version. This uh, flashable zip does not update your modem to EEL3. I will make a video showing you how to do that if you are interested in trying out the EG22 modem. Uh, I'll put that link in the description as well once that video is up. Um, anyways, that would be the how to update your phone to EG22. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask, uh, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.